Yo, what is up, Latin Proud Crowd? We are in the new truck picking up mobile, and basically this car, I don't know if you guys saw this video, some of you, a lot of you probably saw it, a lot of you probably didn't, but I basically bought a runaround car to put all my unnecessary and necessary miles on, and essentially what I mean by that is, for example, Longhorn, I put 6,000 miles on that truck in 45 days okay that is just ridiculous and then not to mention if i go pick up this obs today there you go i'm um, probably saw it in the thumbnail and in the title anyways i don't want to be driving that truck all winter too just to try to keep miles off the longhorn and then i'm putting tons of miles on a nice classic truck you know what i mean like it's just all around like i don't want to be putting unnecessary miles that aren't even truck needed miles on nice trucks nice diesels that are trying to keep their value when I can just buy a cheap car and just kick it to the curb in six months after I put a boatload of miles on it you know what I mean so um, I decided to buy this car specifically just to put tons of miles on not to mention I have a beautiful girlfriend now and uh, she is two hours away so when I have to go take those long trips back and forth run around town when we take you know trips back and forth around down where she's at um, I can put you know six seven hundred miles on my car in just one weekend and I don't want to like that's and that's in addition to all my other driving and I don't necessarily want to put all those miles on a nice truck especially when it's just run around miles and it's not like I'm towing I'm not hauling I'm not you know you know using the truck for content I'm just just driving it to drive it like just driving it to put miles on so I got a Jeep car and uh, super super um, excited to be able to actually use it to just run around and put all these miles on because today we're gonna go pick up a 1997 F350 long bed four door power stroke and it is going to be absolutely awesome I think it's a very very nice clean truck according to the pictures and the guy he's like the trucks just clean you know what I mean especially for being in Michigan you know real close up there around Toledo area he's like it's just clean like it is just a clean clean truck the frames not rotted out he's like the body's not rotted out he's like there's some dings and some scratches and small dents and just real like just normal small dings and scratches from like truck use but it's not, it's not a trash truck, you know what I mean? It's not like it's completely beat to snot. So I'm very excited, and I think I'm getting a pretty good deal on the truck. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I paid for it. Some of you might be able to find that out through other sources on your own, but nonetheless, I feel like I'm getting a pretty good deal for how clean the truck is, and we're picking up my buddy Jeshua right now, because he's gonna tag along for the ride. Might have to unlock the car for him. What's up? Hello. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Are you ready? I'm very ready. So we actually have to go to the bank here real quick. I called them this morning and prepared them that I was going to want to come in and make a big withdrawal. Um, and I had to call them ahead of time because usually they're funny about, you know, walking in and on short notice demanding a bunch of cash. So I called them this morning at like 9 a.m. and got right on the phone and said, hey, I'm gonna be making a big withdrawal. Can you get the money together? And they called me back actually about 30 minutes ago and said that they can do it. So that's awesome. We're gonna go get on the road here, grab those couple things, maybe do a couple other small things before we head out of town and go get this truck. Here we are, cruising the mom car. We ran to the bank to grab some dough. First gen, I did drop off this morning to make sure that the alignment was perfect because it hadn't been um, to the shop for an alignment since we did the front leveling kit and the new wheels and tires on it. So they're gonna make sure the alignment's good. They're just gonna look over the truck, just make sure that the front end's solid. We don't want the guy to have any issues when he gets his new truck. Um, and then when he gets the truck, and I know that he has the truck back home, I'm actually going to order him a four inch and brand new four inch street pipe exhaust and ship it directly to him so that he can have a brand new exhaust to go on the truck. I just never got around to it. Hopefully he can get the truck this weekend. Hopefully you guys will see that this weekend. He is in the state of Indiana. And really quick on that note, of course, you know, 90, 99% of my fans are just completely encouraging, positive, and just good, good, cool, cool people. And I really, really appreciate you guys. But for the couple of people that are just kind of like, you know, trying to get everybody riled up, going, oh, how convenient he, He's in Indiana, and the first giveaway winner was in Ohio. You guys have to understand that 90% of the people that enter my giveaways are within like four hours around of me. So it's not really uncommon or really that unusual that somebody within a couple hours wins a truck, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people, even though I say I'll cover you know, the fees of transportation and shipping, they don't want to come from across the country to get a truck, or they don't want to come from all the way down south to get a truck. Dominantly, my fans are out of the farm country in the Midwest, so 
That's just, I don't know what to tell you guys. How, like, how far away does somebody have to be for it to seem legit for everybody? I mean, it's kind of, it's like one of those things. Like, never be far enough. Yeah, it, can, it would never be far enough for for everybody to feel like, hmm, hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, like the previous guy, he was seven hours away. And still, some people are like, oh, only seven hours. Like, what? Are you kidding me, bro? Like, <laughs> like what the heck? But anyways, yeah, all that aside, it's it's 100% legit. This guy is getting a truck. I've never met the guy in my life. I don't know who he is. And he's going to be happy as can be, and that's all that matters. You can't fake a giveaway like this. Like, you cannot fake a national sweepstakes like this with I mean, thousands of people watching you every day. Yeah. I mean, you can't. you're wasting tens of thousands just on attorney fees. You know, you know, exactly. A ton of money on attorney fees. Yeah, so... You guys don't even want to know how much I have to spend in legal paper to make this crap legal. Like, it's it's ridiculous, and everything's thoroughly gone through and bonded and registered with all the states. Like, it's, it's nuts, all the stuff you have to go through to do this. Anyways, on a lighter note, like I said, for the 99% of people that are totally positive and upbeat and always leaving good feedback, I freaking love you guys so much. You guys make the dream work happen, so we're going to keep going on down the road here, kill some time at Cabela's, and then go pick up the new OBS truck. Nice truck. Well, it is the next day, fam. What's happening? It's my Longhorn. Those of you who are stopping in new, which is scheduled, by the way, I did just schedule it to have some parts miraculously uh, fall off the truck. And that'll be happening next week. Okay, so the sunlight is really, really bad right now on my face, but we do have the truck. It is a lot of fun. It's really cool. Bam. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's a 1997 F350 four door long bed, just like I said. That's what I wanted to get. And it is just, it is just cool, cool, cool looking dudes. I mean, it is just cool. It's on 37s, 24 by 14s and 37s right now. It's got no rust on it, other than like some very, very minor surface rust. But just look at the frame. I mean, it is just clean, clean, clean. It's the white and blue. I actually love this two-tone. It's it's not the paint's not nasty or all bad and gross. It's just ice. It's just ice on the truck from last night. I mean, the truck does have a couple small flaws. You know, it's an old truck. You know what I mean? Like, there's a couple little small dings and chips and stuff like right there. Um, and that's probably the worst of it, quite honestly. The rest of the truck is in awesome, awesome shape. You can look underneath here. You just look how clean everything is. If you can see it with the lighting. I mean, it's just very, very clean. But man, this thing is just beautiful. Is this just not one of the prettiest old trucks ever? I mean, my first gen's definitely cleaner and has way less flaws on it. Well, not my first gen, first gen anymore. David's first gen, who should be picking up this uh, Saturday, I believe. He should be up to pick it up this Saturday. The truck definitely needs washed. I'm not sure what the bed looks like inside. I didn't really hardly look. Okay. So just dirty. I didn't even know there was a toolbox up in there. <laughs> but just look at this thing. I mean, all it really needs, guys, and this is probably... But I mean, just look at this thing and just appreciate it. We're going to open up the door here and start it up. I mean, look how high this thing is off the ground. There's no real justice, but I could pull my car under and it wouldn't even touch my car until I got to about here on the windshield. I mean, that's how high this thing is. It's sitting lower than my car right now. But it, I mean, I'm saying down in a low spot is where it's sitting, but it just looks so good. It is so high. It's got an 11 inch lift on it running currently 37 by 1350s. 24 by 14s, I think I already mentioned that. I mean, it's just a big truck. So we're gonna show you the interior now. I mean, this thing is really, really nice. He said 
He's like, it does clean up nice. <laughs> Look how high this thing is. So, I'm 5'11", and my hip is right there at the floorboard. And my eye level is looking at the door handle on the inside. I mean, this thing is just nuts. And the top where the window is is close to the top of my head. I'm trying to hold my camera up over my head here, but I mean, this thing is just, it's just huge. It's got the dual fuel tanks. Right now it's on the rear tank. He said that that's pretty much the tank that he's used since he, um, since he's had the truck. He's like, I've just used the rear. I haven't, you know, driven it enough to, you know, actually need both tanks on a trip. It does have a tuner hooked up. However, he said that since he's owned it, he's kept it unplugged. Um, he's like, I just, you know, running a truck with tires and wheels this size, this high lifted up. He's like, I just don't, <clears throat> I just don't think that, you know, engaging that tuner is the best idea. He's like, I mean, you can, you can really damage your rear end there if you, you know, have it on a hot tune and you're just mashing it. You know what I mean? Because that drive shaft's one gonna gonna want to rotate quick. And with tires that big on the rear end, it just can't. So it's just gonna put all that power into the rear end and then it's not gonna be able to unleash all that power onto the tires since they're so big. Um, so he's like, I, I just feel better running it on stock setting. So that's what he's been doing. Um, it does have vinyl flooring. I think that's what you call it, vinyl flooring. And uh, which is actually kind of nice because you can like wash this out with just water and it, it'll shine up. It does have some wiring there. You just plug that into the outlet there and then the uh, it has an underglow kit inside the cab. It's actually cool. The only thing that doesn't work on the inside, he said, is the rear window motors, which we are probably going to get checked out for sure. And then he said that the um, for some reason, there's some kind of disconnect between the head unit and the speakers in the back seat, which we're gonna unlock the back right now so you can see the setup, but you can see the setup behind the back seat here. Uh, but of course, right now, but look at how clean the seats are. Like, there's no rips or nothing. I mean, it's just nice. He said he pretty much just drove it in the summer. I mean, the doors aren't all saggy. I mean, there's no rust in the door jams. If you just look up through here, I mean, it's just not rusted. It's not rusted and rotted. I don't know when it was painted. He said he doesn't know either. But the paint's in really good shape, other than, like I said, it's got some dings and scratches and just little imperfections, you know what I mean? And some small swirls in the paint and stuff like that, but nothing that's like unusual, you know what I mean, for a truck that's 20 years old, you know, 22 years old. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know when the paint was done last. He doesn't remember because he didn't do it. Um, but it looks good. I like the coloring, honestly. I really do like the coloring of this truck. Okay, so I apologize for not getting the startup on camera. However, I attempted to start the truck, okay, not plugged in, and it had like a really weak crank to it. So I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, so nonetheless, I basically plugged the truck in, let it sit for like two hours, um, with the block heater in, and came out to try to start again. And still just a really weak crank, and so I instantly thought, you know what? It's probably not glow plugs, it's probably not um, that the engine's not warm enough from the block heater being in for two hours. I said it's probably weak battery. So I took the long horn over here, hooked it up, and hit instantly. As soon as I hooked it up, I came and touched the key. It fired off almost like a brand new, one of the brand new power shifts. I mean, it fired right off on a dime. So um, essentially, I think it might need a new set of batteries or at least a new primary battery. I don't know. But here she is running. He does have kind of like a custom little accident setup back here. Truck sounds good. It really is just a super pretty truck. A lot of the ice melted off of it since I was on the camera here a little bit earlier. Just a super, super good looking truck. I cannot wait to get a few more things done on this truck and uh, to get this thing just looking 100%. It's gonna be awesome. Just got Big Red picked up. The alignment is perfect now. And just look how small this truck looks next to the new OBS. I mean, Big Red's up on a hill, so it's gonna look not quite as small as it really looks, but it really is. I mean, next to the thing, but it's, it's freaking huge.
thank you so freaking much for watching this video. You guys absolutely rock, so smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. OBS giveaway coming soon. And yes, I know, we just ended a giveaway, and yes, we're just giving away this truck in probably the next video, but guys, this truck is going to be getting prepped for a giveaway. And I don't have a date, I don't know when it's gonna be. I honestly do not have a date set yet, but hopefully we can narrow that all down, get some time set up for you guys, and then, but in between, before we even think about starting the giveaway for this truck, like actually setting up times and dates, I'm gonna spend some time um, revamping my brand, revamping my merchandise that I have available, create more options, more sizes, more of everything, more um, hat options, like a bunch of different stuff, um, so that there's more variety for people to pick from, so that they can really get what they want when they enter for these giveaways. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are absolutely awesome. Comment down below what you think about the new OBS build. Stay tuned, because it's about to get great. Thank you so much. Don't forget to join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.